Hey everyone, this is the Films of Fantasy Entertainment, and I just wanted to give a viewpoint of the Godzilla series. Now, this may be random, because I don't usually do this that often, reviewing movies and such, but I've done it before, and I wanted to really um, give you, like I said, a viewpoint of the Godzilla series. Now, why am I doing this? Well, I've had some personal history with it recently, in these last decade. Now, why am I talking about, well, I'll, I'll give you... So that in another video, but for now I'm just going to review the Godzilla series. Actually, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to review the first Godzilla movie ever, Gojira. It starts off with, well, I probably won't give any spoilers, but if I ever get anything wrong, please forgive me. It starts off with the ship attack in the Pacific Ocean. And and I can't remember much of it because I haven't really seen in most of the film, but I can only recall the, the American cut. But I remember also there were some scenes of Godzilla going down over a mountain. It was from a base in Tokyo, and I can't remember. The, I don't want to say the ending because I can't spoil it for those who haven't really seen the film. But it's here's my perspective of the first movie. I respect it. But I can't say I like it because it's really depressing. It tells a good story, but it just it just it tells the truth. It's a metaphor for nuclear weapons, and I it's a really a standpoint of um. It tell me if I'm using these words right, but I don't know if I am. But but it's a standpoint of what what it really truly tells is a horrific, horrific um, horrific result of what happens when you drop a nuclear bomb on a, on a city, but or two cities. Actually, yes, and two cities. I'm sorry if I get that wrong. I shouldn't do that, but I I feel really, really bad for um the people that that suffered in in these two cities, and and this is a movie that exists because of that. But at least it spawned a franchise, a big one, and of course. I have to admit that um, when I watch this film, at least the main main version, I never never thought it was that um, I never thought it was that um, happy to begin with. It's really depressing. I just uh, it tells a good it's, it really does a good job at that actually, and I have to really admit that um, why Manila's movies are on here on this picture you see. It's because, um, it's mainly because I'm much of a lighter tone person, and I have, um, I don't expect myself to be, uh, happy all the time, personally speaking. I don't really want to be, uh, I don't want to be, um, I personally don't want to, uh, just be, uh, dark all the time. Well, I don't want to personally speak that for myself. I think you've seen me do this in my own videos all the time, because you've seen me, uh, at least in my uploads of Armageddon Vakos King. If you've seen that, then you have uh, know what I'm talking about. But anyway, moving on. We'll go on to the... Uh, um, go on to... Uh, I, you know what? I'm not even sure what else there is to review. But I'll go on to uh, Godzilla Raids again. Just for a moment. Because I want to be able to get across the, um, most of the these movies. Just because I want to be sure to... Uh, I want to be sure to get a general idea of the Godzilla series because, well, I'll explain in another video, like I've said. Anyway, Godzilla Rays again is when they show Anguirus fighting Godzilla. And Anguirus is, well, I'll say that the, there's an American version of this, but the American version is, is not good. Because they called it, in not a good way, Gigantus the Fire Monster. Some producer... Wanted to call Godzilla a new monster. And it's just... It wasn't a good idea. At least for the fans. And I never thought it was a good idea either. Well... I thought it was interesting, but it's just not a good idea either. It was just... It was ridiculous. It was just... It was just when Godzilla was, be Godzilla was beginning to get known. But... Some producer just wanted, wanted to... Present a new monster. But anyway... And even made a uh, even re redone the dialogue to make it like Godzilla was part of the Angus family, and it was it was ridiculous. I think 
even if I did like like this dub a little bit, it was still ridiculous. And I just uh, I hope that um, they still re-edit most of the um, most of the dialogue into what is probably should have been known as. And I just hope that um, because they're raging again gets its proper treatment. And moving on, um, I'm gonna skip most of the show show movies because I know that um, I know that you, most of you know what it is already. At least I hope all I hope all of you know what it is already because of what's happened with uh, the legendary films made made everything I mean all of it known. But there are some things um, I want to uh, get across, and I just hope I want to express those. It's that, um, well, here's a personal view of mine. When I mention Manila, I'm, and when I see, when I use Manila in my videos, and this, this is the point of me making this video, I don't really mean to just review Godzilla all of a sudden, it's because of, uh, well, Manila is kind of a character that I adore, and he's not just being used for no reason. It's because I really adore the little, the little fella, he's really just... He's really just a comic relief character that I like to use because he's... I feel sorry for him whenever he gets trashed. And I'm sorry to those who, who don't really like him, but I mostly use him to be like a hate, love-hate character. And I, I'm very self-aware that he's hated, but I like to use him... I like to love him as a as a character. And if he really wants wants the respect, I'll give it to him. I know it just sounds weird for, for me to say because I'm actually a child at heart. I like to treat him like he's real. But he's not real. I know that. But I just I don't want to make it sound weird. Now forgive me if I'm speaking from, from a child childish view. But I just like this. I just treat myself as a child. You know. I just it sounds weird. I know it sounds weird. But I just I'm I'm speaking pers too personally, aren't I? But uh, okay, I can I gotta stop here. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop stop speaking here for now. I'm gonna present this on YouTube. So I, I'm sorry to everyone who had to hear this. I, it was just kind of weird for me to see, to, to say this kind of weird stuff. But I'm just gonna go ahead and stop this here. But hopefully, if I make that legendary video, I'm just gonna go ahead and speak the truth. If I do 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 the video, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Okay, um, see you later.